In a previous video, I outlined some things to consider while designing a canard aircraft. In this video, we will discuss about the design considerations for a three-surface aircraft. This video builds on the concepts in the canard video, so if you haven't watched it already, I would recommend you watching it before proceeding. Let's get started. Three surface planes can be thought of as the combination of canard and conventional aircraft. It consists of the main wing, a foreplane or canard, and a horizontal tail. Just like canards, they have the advantages of increased safety and shared load. Another advantage is that the main wing spar may be placed out of the way, leaving more space in the cabin. The disadvantage of the three surface design is the increased interference drag. The sizing and airfoil selection of the wing and canard can be done as discussed in the canard design video. While designing, it is important to consider effect of downwash. The main wing is affected by the downwash due to canard, which reduces the angle of attack and lift of the portion of the wing that gets shadowed by the canard. The horizontal tail is affected by the downwash from the shadowed portion of the wing. The reduced angle of attack on the main wing due to canard downwash can be compensated by increasing the angle of attack in the span of wing affected by the downwash. The increase in angle of attack required will be equal to the downwash angle produced by the canard. The part of the wing that's out of the downwash can be left at the original calculated angle of attack. But this method will require a break in the wing. A simpler method is to increase the angle of attack of the whole wing by a lesser angle. Another method is to introduce washout, increased angle of attack at the root, and decreased angle of attack at the tip. To avoid the wingtip vortices of the canard interacting with the main wing, a vertical gap between them of half of the mean cord of the wing is suggested. It is also suggested that the T-tail configuration be used for this design to place the tail out of the wake and increase its effectiveness. Balancing the model will require the position of neutral point to be estimated. For stability, the neutral point for canard airplane falls in between the main wing and canard. The larger the wing, the closer the neutral point is to the wing leading edge and vice versa. Introducing a horizontal tail moves the neutral point rearward. It is difficult to estimate the neutral point location, but a simplified method is proposed by Andy Lennon in the book Basics of RC Model Aircraft Design. The method is as follows. Let's name the areas for the canard. Wing and horizontal tail is area A, B, and C respectively. Point O is placed ahead of the canard to measure the distances to the quarter cores of the canard, wing, and tail. These distances are P, Q, and R respectively. The wing and tail areas that get shadowed are reduced by a certain percentage to account for the effect of downwash. Use the formula to calculate the neutral point location from point O. The CG can then be determined based on your static margin. The presence of horizontal tail causes the neutral point to move rearward, as compared with a canard aircraft. The tail's elevator provides pitch control, so make sure the tail moment arm is adequate. These were some tips for designing a three-surface aircraft. I hope this video helps you to get started with your own aircraft design. If you find these videos informative, consider supporting the channel via PayPal. The link is in the description. I keep posting videos about aircraft design, so subscribe for more. Next, you can watch this video of the step-by-step -step design process of a model aircraft. Thank you for watching.